Hello everyone, Matthew97657 here, and today we are back with a new unboxing and review. And so, as the title suggests, it's going to be Art Spirits Godzilla 2019 minifigures. And so, there's nothing more to it than to get on right on into it. So, uh, I purchased this one from Awesome Collectors. This thing's been out for quite a while now. I just never really, you know, wanted to like spend the money on it because it's actually quite a lot. Um, but it's the six monsters, I believe. Oh, I don't want to make too much of a mess. It's the six monsters from the, the well, franchise monsters from the King of the Monsters movie. Oh, I guess that's a bad spot here. This is what we should actually be presenting. So this is actually the top of the box, but it comes with Ghidorah, Rodan, Mothra, Mothra Larva, Godzilla, and then a Burning Godzilla. So I guess seven. But uh, this is one of the only ones that actually has a Mothra Larva figure. I remember the NECA one was supposed to come with one, but I don't really recall what happened there. But... This is a full set, so as you saw, that's the top of the box showcasing all the figures. There's Ghidorah there, a little bit of just, I guess, the background knowledge. And then here's Godzilla here as well. And then on the bottom, it's just that. So there's the front, and then this is the top part. So it looks nice. You got all the monsters looking really, really cool. So let's get on into it. Uh, I guess this was like more of like a, I don't want to say blind box, but... It looks like that, so I think that's the only thing I'll need the knife for today. Okay, no, I was incorrect. Tate's here. And so I'm actually really excited because I've always wanted these. I always like the little minifigure stuff. So actually, it looks like there's a... How, how should I do this? There's a little cardboard hole, and I really, really, really hope I don't mess this up. But as you see... It's kind of like a display. There we go. So I guess it kind of just showcase to the people that are buying in the store. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? Like that, and you just see we've got all the boxes there. So uh, time is rolling, so let's go right on into it. So, huh, I guess these are uh, actual like mini boxes. So you don't really wait a minute. Okay. Okay, I was in. Where did I mess up? Okay, I guess I was wrong on the six part, but as you see, you just open it up. And so, pretty much, we're gonna go through them as we can. The box is really cool, it's got all of them on there. A little side piece. So, I guess these are blind boxes, and then that's all of them in the set. Oh my gosh, I'm going to set this down actually. So I guess they're all actually blind boxes. Forgive me if this takes a little longer than um, the normal videos because this is something different, if you will. It's not something that's on the channel that much. The art spirits. So first box, we got Rodan, which is awesome. Oh man, he really doesn't want to come through. Like, really, though? Wow, he's even still putting up a fight there. Okay, so I'm just going to trash this stuff to the side because no one wants to really see that. They have this all packaged so... So... Oh. And the stand went flying onto my shorts. Pretty cool, right? This is the base, the volcano, if you will. Um, I forget, Isla de Mara, if I'm correct. That is the, the name of the, the volcano. And I guess you just put this little acrylic piece in and then you assemble Rodan, right? Got two little pegs on the wing and then I guess you just kind of go with it. I don't want to be too harsh on it, but I don't think it's that hard in general. Actually, these are kind of tough. Mm -hmm. Oh man, these are actually kind of hard. They're detailed nicely, so it's like, you know, put that in there. Let's just try and close them in. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna throw this off to the side, man. Time really does roll. And so here he is. Uh, granted, 
he may not be assembled to the fullest. I'm trying to put the pieces in and it's like they go in and then they kind of just slowly come back out. But boom, right? Rodan. He looks really, really nice, if I'm being honest. The detail is really good, especially for the head model too, you see. So good, good stuff. And then there is a slot on the bottom of his body, which you can just kind of slide in. I guess maybe this is easier. I come into here. Oh man, that is, wow. Okay, so, oh, come on. Let's not be too daring today. Man, wow. Nothing is really on my side right now, but alas, here he is, little guy, right? Next box, I don't like Godzilla 2019, Godzilla 2019. Yeah, no, I think these are all just little blind boxes, so we're just gonna keep going with it. I don't wanna take too much time. I know I keep saying that, but truly though, I really don't want to make these videos longer than they need to be. And I'm sure there are better ways I could be doing them. And if there are, please let me know. But as we all see here, this is the Godzilla 2019, which seems to be a lot simpler. You really just plug in the tail. I don't think anything else is really necessary. I'm just trying to, oh man. Wow, this stuff's hard. And like the, his dorsal plates are sharp too. Oof. Slowly but surely we're getting it in there. All right, that seems good enough, but here is Godzilla. He's got some nice little blue accents on the dorsal plates, almost translucent. Actually, I think it is translucent, right? You see the, the blue there, and then just a model. It looks really nice, and so I'm gonna kind of cover it a light, but the detail is pretty good as well. So another one of these nice little minis to coincide with one another. So I guess I'll put these guys over there. We'll grab the box on the floor. Ooh, okay, so here is Mothra Larva, and it actually comes um, with the little legs that you have to assemble, so. Put that there. I'm going to put this here, put this down, and you see, get a little baggy, but, right? Hmm. So I'm really confused on how this one would go. It comes with a little piece of paper, probably a little instruction thing. Huh, so I guess they are connected as we see here, right? It kind of depends on which one you're going for. So bear with me, everyone. Actually, no, we're actually gonna jump cut it through. Uh, I don't want to take too much time on this. I don't know why it's really getting to me with this. But uh, once we come back, we'll have the legs assembled, hopefully. And actually, we might just have everyone else assembled, but not maybe not. But uh, just give me a quick moment. I'll have the legs assembled, ready to go, and, and to showcase. Thank you. All right, everyone. So I am back from this, and here is the larva completed. And I think that is all the little right pegs to go in. And might I say, wow, that was actually a lot harder than it looks. So just to kind of give you an idea, just in case y'all do buy this, is it comes in this, right? This little plasticine thing. And it comes with all the little legs. You break them off, you put them in. Uh, the bottom four, as we see here, aren't that hard. The ones at the top are the ones that are really hard. So what I done is I tried everything. I tried a little hairpin. I tried like those little tooth, uh, those floss things that have the little sticks on the end. But the best thing I found to use was actually a toothpick. So I just, you know, s put it in, swirled it around to kind of open the hole a little bit more so the um, the peg would go in. And alas, it finally went in. So there is Mothra larva and there is a little pedestal. So let's keep going, right? But pretty cool nonetheless. So we only have three more. So we're going to kind of run with it. And next we have King Ghidorah. So yeah, I mean, that one was the toughest of them all, simply because it was just like, honestly, like really, it did actually hurt trying to put those in. 
and I'll show you. I actually got a little, um, I started bleeding just a little bit because the very tip, these things are sharp. Like the things that, the things that are sharp on the monsters are sharp themselves. Like even this little Godora part sharp, but I actually poked myself just a little bit. If you can see the little red dot, which thankfully wasn't too crazy, but uh, nonetheless, I was like, wow, that actually uh, kind of hurt for, uh, you know, Mothra, uh, the larva. So the Ghidorah one, going back to this, three pieces. Oof, is that good? Ooh. Three pieces, it's the body, well, four pieces, sorry. The body, the tails that are combined together, and then the wings in which the wings actually do connect within the tail so i think it'd be best if we got that in there and fortunately it doesn't look like the tail wants to cooperate these things are really well made i cannot lie it's just the assembly of them is kind of tough i'm not sure whether it be you know they've been in a box for so long but i'm just trying to you know move and groove with it just so we don't take too much time but man it, like really though it really doesn't look like the tail wants to go in so the wing seems to be going in fine but not the tail and so this one's probably gonna be one of our longer videos and i'm really afraid that the tails are gonna split because it looks like that's the only thing holding them in and so i'm just gonna kind of brute force that one in hopefully that uh got the job done and so i have to kind of push the tail up so that oh uh, Yes, my greatest fear came true. Uh, but it doesn't seem like it's that bad. Um, oh, that's the most unfortunate. All right, well, I mean, I'm probably going to just have to hot glue that together. As you see here, the tail did come apart when I was trying to push it in. And so, yeah, unless we can do the slide him in there, question mark. Actually, I'm going to try this. It's very unconventional, and we might need a jump cut again simply because this is like, you know, a lot of this, I didn't think it was going to be this hard going in, truthfully. But, I mean, it's honestly giving me a run, okay, it's honestly giving me a uh, run for my money. So, there we are. See, now that looks good. That was really easy with one tail in. So, let's just put this together and hope that it actually kind of just looks right so I don't have to hot glue the, the uh, the bottom tail together. So I connected that first and ta-da. And truthfully, I don't think these are supposed to be like, you know, played with because they're very nice. They're highly detailed. There's Ghidorah, right? They're highly detailed figurines, nicely painted. Oh, nicely painted. It's just, man, the assembly is giving me a tough time. So I guess I'll just hold the foot down. On the Ghidorah, but nice gold paint apps, right? That's what a lot of Ghidorahs were actually surprisingly missing from the whole 2019 King of the Monsters uh, toy lines and everything. You know, even uh, SH Monsterites didn't really have a gold touch on it, but this one, you can definitely see that gold and it's really nice on it. So uh, I guess we'll just show off these two because it's kind of like what we're going for. And it looks great, like truly. It looks really, really nice. Godzilla's probably a little bigger than. What well, he should be, but I think they really weren't going for any sort of scale here, so. And the heads look great. Uh, not a lot of Ghidorah heads are that screen accurate, but this one seems to have gotten very, very close to it. So next, we only have Burning Godzilla and Mothra, and the more I see assembly, the more I get scared. But hopefully this won't be too bad, because I'm trying to do everything on camera, right? Super, super fast, so I don't have to keep holding everything back. So as we see here, it comes with the wings. Oh my. We got a little friend. Ooh, wow, already going, it's really sharp. Oh man, okay, okay. So here's Mothra, you know, base part. And the wings here, which actually are really nice. It's like a mix of the two. That was pretty much it for that. So I guess it's more of a, you know, kind of just put it together yourself. So we're gonna do things hopefully in the right way. So we're gonna attach the wing here. Okay, maybe I had in the wrong slot. 
Yeah, I had it in the wrong slot. That is an official my bad moment. Oh man, uh, it's always so scary. Cause I want to force it, but I don't want to force it too, too much to where something might break. So, oh man, it's getting it truly. I'll try this one. Oh, okay. I'm so dumb. Okay, think uh, we should probably do assembly in the right way. So, <laughs> and this is all my mistakes. Oh my gosh, but um, as you see, there's a little peg that goes in. So it's, it's simple, very simple. I'm just really, I guess, impatient right now. So you just put the two together, and I think, okay, well, let's do it outside, right? It's supposed to do something like that. So, and whenever, she's, cause she's going like this on the promotional box. So let's go ahead and slide it in and peg, ready for entry, connect. It's kind of hard to tell cause Oh. Okay. Because it's not this way. It's just simply like this. Ready for entry. I really just don't want to break anything, but everything's so like loose. There. It's very, oh my God. Oh, and it's like, you know, the more you press on it, it kind of like, okay, give me just one moment once again. All right, everyone. And so I know it kind of changed the layout here, but uh, I had to literally wait until the next day to, to apply this because I had to hot glue the wings on because the pegs on the wings uh, I was putting them in, and I took it out, and it was gone. So it snapped, so it's whatever. This one was probably the, uh, how do I say it? The most difficult to put on. And as you see, the wings aren't even that straight. Or uh, They're probably not the way they're supposed to be for it. Uh, like when they're combining together, but I had to use a hot glue gun. And luckily, you know, here we are. I'm not touching those wings, because I really do not want them to fall. But uh, they look really nice, though. It's got like the, you know, the Mothra color of like the yellow and the orange. And then it's also got some of that biolescent blue on there as well. So I really liked how they did that with the coloring. It was just um, getting them on was another issue, but that is the Mothra. And then we're going to open up our final box, which is guaranteed to be Burning Godzilla. So I actually kind of want to keep a box and like this. So I'm going to kind of open it a little bit, maybe a little nicer. So, but yeah, that's just like a heads up if you are planning to get any of these. Uh, they're uh, pretty hard to um, like put together and whatnot, but box secured. And so lastly and obviously, it is going to be the Burning Godzilla, which should not be hard at all. It should just be like <clears throat> the other Godzilla we have. And so we'll do a comparison there as well. But, like, on first glance, this Burning Guts looks really good. I really like, okay, maybe a little heavy on the black there, but I really like how this one came out. Like, the orange, the spines look really good. And now obviously, it's the same mold. The head paint is a little, a little, uh, a little bit of everything there. And so all we have to do is put our tail in. Ugh, there we go. And that is it. So that should be all of our art spirits, mini King of the Monsters assembled. So here is Burning Godzilla on full display. As you see it is like black and orange just all around the body. It looks pretty good, I can't lie. I really like the spines. And it's the same mold as the G19 regular. So let me know which one y'all think y'all like better on that one. Just kind of want to compare the two and ta-da, that is it. It took me a while to get through a lot of this, starting with the Mothra larva, putting on the little arms, to the King of Dora with the tail, to the Rodan stand not wanting to go in, to the Mothra wings not wanting to go in. We went through a little bit of a journey on this video, so thanks for sticking by on that. Uh, la oh, lastly, sorry about that, lastly we are going to compare 
The only thing I can compare with something these small, this small is the Jack's Pacific. I almost forgot the name, the Jack's Pacific line. And this is kind of like a, uh, just a little warning, I guess you could call it. These, this is uh, painted gold, so it's not like the original one because I had painted the Jack Pacific ones, but as you see here, right? I'm sorry, this is kind of like a, you can see the detailing compared to uh, the Jack's one, All right? So that's the Ghidorah. And then let's get the Godzilla ones out of the way. This is the Burning Godzilla. You see a lot more uh, color on the uh, art spirits. This is a painted, different blue painted Godzilla. So we'll do this. All right, that's not the original color. It's like a lighter blue. I just wanted to paint it a different blue just to kind of do, you know, something for fun. So there's that. And then let's do Mothra. So on this one, I'm just going to, as we see here, uh, more of a red instead of an orange or translucent or bioluminescent blue compared to the one on here. Ooh. The one on here is like a orange and then you got the, the yellow and the bioluminescence blue on there as well. So that was risky. I really did not want to pick that one up. And then lastly, this is a custom painted Rodan. So like I said, not an not the original, original color paint scheme on the uh, Rodan, but let's get him over here. As you can see, I think mine came out pretty good. All right, but that's pretty much the mold compared to these. And you see the hyper detailing on there, which looks really nice. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, this one was a long one because this one was really unexpected on where it was going to go and whatnot. So I apologize on that front if it's kind of a longer video. But if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Truly, it really means a lot to me, especially for videos that go longer. It really does mean a lot. So let me know which one you think is your favorite out of all six of them. I know I miscounted in the beginning and I said seven like a goof. But which one do y'all like the most? The Met. Whoa. Okay, I try to combine most and best. Which one do you like the most? We have the Mothra, we have the Burning Godzilla, the, the regular Godzilla 2019, the King Ghidorah, the Rodan, and then the Mothra Larva. So out of all of these, if you made it here to the end, let me know which one y'all like the most. I'm really interested to see what y'all think. Let me know if you bought the Art Spirits or this video helped you decide if you wanted to buy it or not, or if it was helpful in general. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.